What's up, my XRP brothers from another mother and my QXRP sisters? This is Rob, the XRP 007 channel, coming to you from beautiful Venice Island. Absolutely gorgeous day down at the beach, so five out of five. And the title of this episode is Own XRP, You Got the World on the String, Sitting on a Rainbow. <laughs> what a life. I'm in love. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'll figure out when I get back. And the quarter of the day goes to in that same kind of... Uh, tongue in cheek says XRP this quote of the day question is who said it XRP is an, an enigma of the imaginations of my mind <laughs> I'll give you three seconds <laughs> Patrick from Spongebob I added the XRP why not uh, will there be huge news today by the end of today we got that ripple former ripple director saying that there's uh, something brewing as well as uh, a couple other people saying, a little birdie told me. Uh, so yeah, um, let's see if something happens before this, between today and tomorrow, that would be really great. Uh, and uh, thank you, by the way, yesterday's video, we knocked it out of the park, went viral. Uh, it was the number one video of mine over the last 28 days. And uh, you know what? And um, I know when uh, when videos do well, <laughs> I can look instantly and see the comments and the bots come out of the woodwork shilling stuff. So that's how I know. And thank you as as well as we make our way on the road to 20,000 followers. It's going to be amazing when we get there. So indeed, if you are new to this channel, if you would hit the subscribe button to subscribe, the bell for notification, that like button, tap it, slap it, whatever you are feeling for a Thursday and we'll get this train rolling. In the comments, Andrew says, uh, it says, love your endurance. Uh, you will get paid soon. Hold on. Thank you so much. Uh, you feel, you sound like me. It's like my purpose on this channel is to drag each and every one of you over the finish line with me. Because no matter how long it takes. And uh, a comment also from Molt Media says, another banger, Rob. Uh, thank you so much, Molt. If you guys give Molt Media a, if you don't follow, follow him, give him a follow over on YouTube. He puts out great content throughout the day and uh, support him as well. And also uh, the first card, oh, 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 I got another comment kind of sleeping through, slipping through the cracks. This is from comment from Dark Star. It says, hey, Rob, you've become my staple of the day of my daily break. Thank you so much. And ZX Game, Gamer says, I like your profile name, by the way, it says, Mr. C 7 rocks again. Thank you so much. So that does the heart good. I can just keep them coming. And the first card that I got to pin last night is I kind of got to settle back down into my studio. Michael Bordenero over in Fort Lauderdale. I enjoy watching him. He always talks about the state of the economy, the housing market, stuff like that. Has a ton of followers. And this is kind of intro, uh, kind of interesting. And it has a bearing on me as well. Kind of neat on um, things in this category affects us in this category in the world of XRP and our crypto. It says, uh, those in charge of the government Government don't want to have the economy and crash on their w watch. 110% uh, true. Uh, you know, the, it's going to be propped up nine ways to Sunday all the way up until the election. So where does that have a bearing on me? Uh, it affects actually when I may actually decide to sell and how much I sell bigly. And the reason why is because uh, one of the areas I want to rotate my profits into is uh, the, my number one area I'm fond of, which is uh, real estate. And so I think that real estate correction may not come until 2025. And so, and I'm going to be a cash buyer for that. So anyway, speaking of real estate, if you happen to be looking for a rental in the Fort Lauderdale area, I found one for you. Uh, it's a 1963, uh, probably kind of has a mid-century vibe to it, I think. It's 1,639 square foot cutie. On the water though, it is, wait for it, <laughs> it's, the monthly rental on that puppy is $11,500 a month, whoa. Uh, and the property tax on that property, $21,000. What's wrong with this picture? Are they out of control or what? A house built in the 1960s at 1,600 square feet. They want 21 grand from you every single year. Out of control. XRP currently trading at around, up about 2% of trading around 51 cents, almost 52 cents. I like to say it's, been, it's holding 50 cents like a boss. Since 2018, I didn't realize, I, I didn't get into XRP until late uh, of November, late 2020, uh, November 14th thereabouts, because I screen captured on my phone the following two days after my XRP went up 42% after I bought it. But I didn't realize it was also trading at 50 cents back into 2018. 
that is a long hold. My heart goes out to my XRP brothers who've been in this space so long, haven't been able to take profit, sitting on the sidelines waiting, watch that 384 come and gone. So anyway, it's like, wow. Uh, so yeah, it feels like that someday. It just feels like, yeah, it's going to hold uh, 50 cents like a boss for the next 10 years. No, nah, that ain't, you can't stop what's coming. And I'll be getting into that as we kind of move along here. I got to move along a little bit quicker too. So uh, break on the matrix. This is kind of interesting. Black Swan. I'll be talking more about this next week. I, I started to touch on it when I had uh, uh, Mel Carmine over on the channel. I'll be digging into it fresh start in the next week. But Black Swan Capitalist had a great video. It's a short clip over on Twitter. It's a, it's a, he did a video entitled Break the Matrix. And it was taken down within 12 hours. Kind of talking about the same kind of subject matter. But he has a great uh, video clip up there. I'll try to put it on my Twitter and put it up there. I'll let you guys know what have it up there. It's about he's interviewing. He's on a panel with three other people. And they really do a nice job of breaking down what's happening in the world. All right. So my video um, says, oh, this is kind of neat. AD, Ada over on YouTube said the announcement by the Ripple director. Usually that he would uh, get excited about that or the community would. And he says, you know, not so much this time. A lot of people like me, and I mentioned in yesterday's video, it's like, you know, I'm not really care, you know, care about it because every other announcement, I don't care what it was, has been a nothing burger. The proper party, swell. Yeah, gee, it was swell. And he goes on and on. So the announcement could be huge. Will it move the price of XRP? Probably not. Good morning, crypto. Uh, and, you know, maybe that's when it is going to move, when the sentiment's so bad, which has always been an indicator in this in this space when the XRP sentiment is just down in the trenches and down down at the bottom that's when she usually rips but this is exciting XRP clawback feature is live so exciting so and that does not really apply to XRP holders that's kind of more a feature on the XRP ledger and for like financial institutions apparently and this is the update from the automatic automatic market makers uh, David Schwartz is uh, his comment on it is kind of going viral today on Twitter and well as YouTube, uh, thanking the community. They did find the problem. They came in there and solved it or will be solving it. I think it will set us back all of about two or three weeks. That's all right by me. That's a, I'd rather have them get it right and delay than to try to push it through with some flaws in it. So it's a good it's a good thing that and it's the only reason why that was spot out is because XRP is decentralized. So that is a very good thing that that's happening. And uh, David Schwartz was very generous in his, uh, his support of the community. So cannot wait. So maybe we're just two or three weeks that we get that started. I'll be patiently waiting. I'll be talking about that AMM. By the time I reach the end of this video, Crypto T, this is some fun stuff. Thailand removes crypto trading tax to position itself as a global hotspot. I thought it already was a global hotspot. Comment down below. You got two reasons to go to Thailand now. Right, Fernando? All right, so among others, and uh, Chad, and uh, Poolside Chad over in Fort Lauderdale says... Uh, uh, keep on making Florida great. State of Florida, a bill to bring regulatory clarity for charter banks and trust companies when it comes to digital assets and custody. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Wyoming's a good state for that, and if we bring Florida to the stage, that's really great. That's one of the states missing for the uh, money transmitter license is Florida, and then Florida, our e e economy is huge. Uh, down here and so also this is from crypto hulk this is absolutely huge as well and this is a bombshell absolute bombshell and it's so much fun you never have to look very far to connect the dots nine ways to sunday this is over with the uh, uh b2c b2c2 uh, will be providing liquidity for the european union for their central bank digital coin which includes 27 nations dig down the rabbit hole who bought B2C2? Can you say SBI, my favorite company next to Ripple? Uh, and then because they own 25% of Ripple as well, as well. For that liquidity, do you think they're going to be using XRP? Comment down below. It's right in front of you. That is so ex exciting. Um, and also, this was also in Black Swan Capitalist. They had another end view that says he just brings it out daily, advocating that you should bring your cash down. Uh, your cash balance down as quickly as possible. He says, go spend it. He says, spend the money now. He says, because anytime that we may, so he thinks we could get that flip of the switch any day. 
you know, I always talk about, oh, maybe it happened to 25 years ago. And, you know, go ahead and get that cash balance down. You guys always know I keep very little cash for that very recent as well. It says the old currency. It says if you're sitting on the U.S. dollar and they do a flip of the switch, even it's kind of some other kind of digital currency, it says that trade-in, it says the old currency may be defunct, but may be worthless, or it may just be like withering away like this so fast that it's just not worth anything, can't buy anything. So, yeah, my heart will go out to anybody that has any kind of large balance, whether it's in a, a traditional bank or in some kind of like institutional, like a, a Vanguard or Fidelity, stuff like that. Jack the Rippler uh, says, rumor that a settlement, a $10 million settlement uh, with the SEC will happen this year. That doesn't move my needle, Jack. It's like, no, that's just, we're just in February 9th. We got the whole year just to say it will end by the end of this year. No, that does not move my needle. This quite wear my heart on the sleeve. If it was Q1, okay, you got my attention. Is it maybe by next week you got my attention? So it's coming, but that doesn't really do anything for me. I'm sorry. And a little TA down by the beach. Stark Defender says, looks like a completed correction. Thank God. That's why we'll, hopefully we have seen the lows that we're going to see. We'll see. Time will tell. But he says, wave three, what we're anticipating. We've mentioned his targets uh, several times over the last month or two. They still remain the same. $1.88. That'll be music to my ears. $5.85, I'm just chirping like a songbird, no pun intended. $18.22 is the upper end of that wave three. And he says, don't forget, we'll have a wave four correction before making that wave five blow off top. So, breaking news as well. This is kind of neat that when we see it happening right in front of us so rapidly. Everything from bricks, also with oil, uh, trading in oil, no longer in U.S. dollar. Eight banks banned. Eight BRICS banks ban U.S. dollar transactions. Goodbye, U.S. dollar. Hello, BRICS gold back currency. Will the U.S. dollar be backed by gold in future? We'll be talking about that in future episodes, probably next week, because tomorrow's Friday. I want to have fun. Worth repeating, we expect to see a rise potential to over... Uh, this is from the largest capital firm. I'll say it every day because it makes me smile. I'll stick it up here every day. It makes me smile too. Rise potential to over... For XRP to over $1,500, mark as it continues to expand, $1,500 right there. Will it go higher than that? Zero doubt it will, in my humble opinion. So, um, the um, and then also, will XRP hit the A, uh, chat GPT uh, AI prediction of $10 by quarter one? I hope so. That means there's probably a settlement inbound. Put that one up there too. All right, this is great. Mac Attack says, prepare for XRP. This is the stuff that gets me really, really excited. Hi, y'all. Gets me really, really excited about XRP because even in the short term. Yes, I'm here for four and five digits, but yeah, bring me to the promised land, this bull run. Get me there sooner than later, and I'll tell you why I'm be smiling so much because the upcoming price move, he has three things. One, a 1,500% a move for XRP. Where does that take us? $7.50. Loving that. Second one, 2,700% move for XRP. That would bring us to a BC backer, $13.50. That is almost on target for his original price prediction when I first got in uh, back in November of 2020. And then his last one, 5,500% move on XRP. I'm calculating all these from a 50 cent XRP for nice round numbers. Gets you to the upper end of that fifth targets where we have confluence in from so many different people. Say hello to a $27.50 XRP. Be still, my XRP beating heart. Wow. And this is worth repeating as well. Um, so, yeah, DTCC processing 2.5 quadrillion. It's all headed for the XRP ledger. So that's, wow. Um, let this sink in and get the calculator out. It says um, Black Swan said yesterday BIS agreed upon a, a XRP price in the thousands worth repeating from yesterday's episode in the thousand they keep on saying this it's right in front of you and then all of a sudden we just came to see like oh it's gonna stay at 50 cents all right so i'm gonna wrap this episode up uh this kind of neat this may surprise you what rob is really looking for for a price of xrp what is going to make me really really just like be so e extremely happy and, and it's not $10, it's not $100, it's not $1,000, it's not $10,000. may surprise you.
For me, my 2024 expectations, what I'm looking for, it's not my end expectations. It is the first touchdown mark that I'm looking for. Get me to a $5 XRP and get me automatic market makers and give me a yield of 8%. And that's all I need. Uh, and I'll be as fine as wine after that happens. Uh, that, for me, is that first rung that I'm looking for. And then for me, it's like just put her on cruise control, sit back and enjoy. Um, so comment down below. Uh, oh, by the way, that does not mean I'm selling at $5. Here's an important key point. Doesn't mean I'm selling at $5. To the contrary. Yes, I will be taking some off the top because I got a few little kind of toys I want to buy here and there. You guys kind of know that and also put to good use to start some businesses. But no, what it means is that I can coast from there. I might not ever sell my XRP. We'll see how that works. Comment down below. I want to know what your guys, what your exit strategy is. Comment down below if you think that you'll be holding the bulk of your bag and may never sell. I want to know that as well. See you guys in the next video. Have a great day. How long did this one run? Peace out.